All right, so we got our boarding pass. Oh God, no, not that. Ah, oh, yes, there she blows. Oh my God, Lamu, you so damn beautiful. We are definitely gonna miss you. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. It's your main man, Baz. So yesterday in Lamu, we decided we had to spend a lot of time here. So let's check out Melindy. Now, Melindy, we didn't really plan for it. We have no idea where we're staying. A lot of places were closed. One of the few places that were open was... This place is uh, definitely unique, guys, and so uh, thanks again for finding this place. After checking in, we wanted to check out some Malindi restaurants that have that local Kenyan cuisine with the coastal touch to it. So we went to Jabreen Cafe. Check them out, guys. They're really dope. They got a great selection. So we soon realized that Melindy's heyday was in the past. A lot of Italians have left and this place now is just during low season. So we said, let's just go grab some supplies at our local convenience stores for the road trip. We'll call a driver and we'll head to Watamu, the neighboring city, and we'll check out Lighthouse at Temple Point Resort. Next day, we just settled our bill here in African House in Malindi. We're about to check out a place a little bit more coastal uh, where we have a sea view. But this place is really, uh, it's okay considering it's far away. You got your pool right here. You got different cabanas you can chill out. They got their own cook and cleaner and everything. They're on it daily. So it's still a good place, but we like that sea view. So let's go. So I think we found a property where we can stay at on this beach. Our driver that took us to Watamu found it. So I love the view here, guys. Our driver came through. He found a place owned by an Italian guy named Silver Point. Let's go check it out. This is magical. Wow. Wow. All right, so I think we found our lunch spot. We went back and forth on the beach. I think we're gonna settle here. This is called Masai, Masai Beach. And let's grab some food here. And um, yeah, this is So they're telling me this place is called Osteria. It's Italian cuisine. I ordered gnocchi gorgonzola, others ordered pizza. Check out the Instagram for more pictures. There's nobody around, but hey, we're gonna enjoy it ourselves. Good morning, guys. Uh, we had a terrible night. We couldn't sleep properly at Silver Point uh, because the Italian guy gave us a place riddled with bed bugs. It was awful. We dropped our clothes at the dry cleaner so everything can get deep cleaned. Uh, we're gonna head to the marina and make the best out of the worst situation. Oh my goodness! Oh. So deep. I think it's pretty shallow. 
So many fish. Swimming amongst that. That was the thing. In the water swimming, they're all like brushing against your skin, getting the food. It was like, what? And then it was gone. It was like three seconds and then it was gone. Yeah, and I don't like fishes because they, they bit my toes. And so that's why I don't like getting into the water. Yeah, I was a child, so yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember my mom just <laughs> pulling it off of my feet. All right, so you guys wouldn't believe what just happened. We got stuck. The water here is very shallow, the seaweed got up to into our motor and we are anchored we are stopped our anchors on our boat we got stopped from the seaweed that clogged our engine our engine now is being looked after you can see the guy he has a rope he's manually trying to reignite the engine but unfortunately a piece of metal flew off the engine and struck our captain he's the guy in the white hat he's bleeding we had to tie up his leg we tourniqueted it so we stopped the bleeding we told the hospital we're on our way the marina we called them they can't send a boat because the waters are too shallow there's no other option. My friends are sunbathing upstairs. They have no idea. We just had some food uh, and we have to basically walk back in the shallow water with sea urchins, seaweed, poles on the ground, unstable. It's just the whole thing's a hot mess. And I've had it up to here with Melindy. So yeah, so I go wake up my friends and we tell them what we, what's going on. So we eventually make our way into the water. It was disgusting. I do not want anyone to go through this. We get a tuk-tuk when we finally make it. We head back to the city and we hear that the captain of the ship uh, went to the hospital. He fully recovered and he's feeling a lot better. Thank God for that. No one was permanently injured. So yeah, I've had it up to here with Melindy, you know, starting with the museum slash haunted house, African house. Do not go there, guys. It's really dead uh in terms of just activities uh you know we have bed bugs in another place silver point uh, resort don't go there and just be careful with the marina guys i don't know what they were thinking uh especially it's low seasons no excuse so we're gonna head to watamu forget melindy goodbye melindy we're heading out peace make sure to like comment and subscribe love y'all